Hi guys, I'm going to give the, the winter challenge one more attempt. It's going to be below freezing tonight, and so I'm going to make another attempt at it today. I'm going to do it differently this time. I'm only going to use the so-called emergency equipment. The sole emergency blanket, the sole bivy, a couple of space blankets, and the, the sleeping material, sleeping mats that I had in the previous, showed in the previous video. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of... Don't need the drop cloth, don't need the kicking pot because I've already eaten my food. I'm not going to be making a fire so I don't need to cut a wood so I'm getting rid of the saw. I'm getting rid of this food and this knife because I want to make some space weight to bring along the DD poncho tarp. So I've got some coverage from the snow and in there I've also got temp pegs and some Kendall mint cake for morale purposes. So that's it, there's going to be any fire and I'm just going to use these emergency coverages to try and get through the night and sleep through the night. I think that's a pretty tough ask. It's going to get down to 28 according to the forecast. I've got my digital thermometer to check the local temperatures. And I'm going to set the tent up, uh, set the shelter up now, show you a picture of that and then when it gets dark I'll be bedding down. Thanks so much guys. <coughs> Here you see the tarp set up. It's one anchoring point to the treetop. One coming back to a wooden peg here, tied off, and then pegged all around with the metal pegs. It's going to be cosy. Creeping in there tonight. Hi right, guys, got myself out here. Uh, I've wrapped myself as best as I can in these plastic sheets, which is a bear to do. I'm going to show you the temperature now. I'm going to see how many minutes or hours sleep I can get. I'm not uh, super confident, but I'm going to stay as positive as I can. Tonight's temperature is 15, 16. It's a bit of difference. It's quite 16 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a chilly one. Hi guys, so that was a pretty good test of the sole emergency bivy, the breathable version. As you saw, it got very cold last night, and uh, of course I didn't spend all night out there. I spent a good, between three and four hours, and to be honest, I'm amazed how warm I was kept. I was not warm enough to be comfortable to sleep well, I dozed off. I was at that point of not being comfortable enough to sleep, but certainly not being uncomfortable. I never shivered, I never felt any kind of severe discomfort or any type of discomfort from the cold whatsoever I just was not able to get a, go to sleep well enough because you know I'm a guy who spends 340 days in a centrally heated house in a very comfortable bed you're just not used to sleeping outside those conditions I'm not anyway so if you're not slight if you're not really really comfortable it's very difficult to get to sleep I find but this thing which I was I didn't think this was going to be any good whatsoever it's basically what appears to be a, a paper bag with silver foil on the inside. And I've climbed down into this. What can be improved on this, it can be longer. If this would be able to go over the top of my head, it would have been a lot better. And I wrap myself like a mummy in this. And just by doing that, having regular clothes on, I was quite okay out there. I mean, if this is for an emergency to stop you getting hypothermia, as far as I'm concerned, if you're going to go down to 15 degrees where I was last night, this is going to stop you getting hypothermia without any problems whatsoever. You're probably not going to sleep well in it, but it's going to keep you alive. And if this is for an emergency situation just to keep you alive, I think that's a great result. I'm extremely impressed by it. As I said, I had no high hopes for this whatsoever. I thought I was going to start shivering after 30 minutes once the initial temperature had gone down from coming out. Uh, but it didn't. I maintained a, a very reasonable temperature, wasn't shivering, could just lay there, but in the end it was just the boredom of just laying there knowing I wasn't going to go to sleep, but I wasn't going to get freezing cold either, which just made me tap out. Anyway, very, very interesting uh, experience with these sole emergency uh, bivvies, sole emergency blankets. I'm very pleased I've actually got them now, because I thought they were going to be some, you know, not as good as they're advertised to be, but they were actually much better than I 
ever imagined they would be. Thanks so much. Bye.